Back here at home, a much quieter forecast for our Tuesday morning, Todd. Yeah, you know, we're dealing with some warmth across the area. Temperatures have been running well above normal. It started over the weekend and it's now carried here into this work week. And today's no exception as we're going to be climbing to close to 90 degrees once again in many locations. But there is a cold front that's going to arrive later on this evening. And as that front comes through, there will be the potential for a few strong to maybe severe storms across the area with damaging wind being the main threat, but that's later on this evening. The daytime hours today are going to be dry for you. That is the good news. 71 right now in Indy, 74 in Muncie, 69 is the current temperature in Martinsville. Our temperatures will warm very quickly today once uh, the sun comes up, so it's a great morning to get out there and walk uh, the dog. Future dog of the day here is Oliver, sent in by Carrie in West Lafayette. Thanks for sending Oliver in there, Carrie. Yeah, but look at these temperatures. Already by the noon hour, we're looking at a temperature of 83 degrees. That's above our normal high this time of year, which is 80 degrees. And then we'll just continue to warm from that point forward to highs today that are going to be in the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees uh, in most locations. Lafayette 89, Kokomo, Marion 89, as well as Muncie. Slide down to the south, upper 80s uh, in Indianapolis 89, in Crawfordsville, Connorsville, Richmond, right around 87 degrees. And then more temperatures in the upper 80s in the southern locations from Columbus over to towards Bedford and then into uh, the Spencer area. So everybody has the warmth and then we'll have the chance of those storms uh, later on today. So let's talk about those storms. The cold front is still well off to our west and there's really not a whole lot of thunderstorm action or moisture with it as of right now. But because it's going to be coming in here later on uh, this afternoon and into the evening hours out ahead of that front, the wind is going to start to kick up. So it's another breezy day for us. It's the southerly wind, but it's the southerly winds that are going to be bringing the temperatures all the way up into uh, the upper 80s. So the wind that we deal with today is uh, not from the thunderstorms. It's out ahead of the thunderstorms and then we'll get into the potential for the storms themselves. They come in after seven o'clock this evening. If you do have evening plans, be aware that they will be moving in from the northwest and then pushing down towards uh, the southeast. Here we are at 830 and you notice the storms are mainly still in northern locations. And I think this is the area where they have the potential to be the strongest only because we still have some daytime heating left over. And then as the front starts to sink to the south, some locally heavy rainfall, some gusty winds will be possible as these storms come through and they'll linger into the overnight hours. At this point, they're no longer severe, but we'll continue to have these scattered showers with us off and on into the day on Wednesday. The biggest change, though, will be in the temperatures, although it's just briefly. Uh, we'll cool into the upper 70s tomorrow for your highs, but as you look at your seven-day planning forecast, we get right back into this warmth as we go into uh, the weekend and the middle of September. 85 by Friday. By Saturday and Sunday, high temperatures are going to be back up close to 90 degrees. Could be a spot storm on Saturday, but outside of that, we're looking at mostly sunny skies for your weekend. So if you want to start making plans here uh, as we get closer to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, try to include them to be outdoors and to get out there and enjoy the warmth.